the Quancheng UVK5 firmware update. We're going to be updating the Exuma V0.22 firmware. So at the minute, my UVK5 is uh, stock. So you can see on there, it's got the original firmware as it did when I bought the radio. Um, so I've made an extra purchase online and I've bought this uh, programming cable. You can pick them up on eBay for around $5, maybe $10, depending where you're picking them up from. Um, but we're going to get it plugged in and I'm going to show you how we can update the firmware. So we're going to start off with turning the radio off. So you want to hook the programming cable up to your radio and the USB into your computer. So on the side of the radio, there is a pullout switch, um, a pullout tab, and that's where you can plug your headset and microphone in. But in this case, we're going to plug this two pin adapter in. So the, the pretty much upside down, big one goes in the big hole, the small one goes in the small hole. You just want to give that nice firm press until it locks in nicely. Um, and then you want to pop your other USB into your computer. So now you have it all plugged in, you want to pop your radio into something called um, update mode. So what you're going to do, you're going to hold the PTT, which is the push to talk button. You're going to hold that button and then you're going to turn on the radio with your other hand. And what should happen is that light, that torch on the top should come on, but there should be blank on the screen. Cool, so you want to come over to uh, the Windows panel in the left corner and you want to click on Device Manager. And you want to look for something called Ports. Um, in my case, I've got a Prolific USB to Serial Com Port Com 3. Um, and we're going to go back to the, the GitHub. We're going to press Flash Over Browser and it should bring up this page here. And uh, once you bring up this page, you're going to press Flash Firmware. You're going to click com3 and you're going to press connect and what that's doing now is that's flashing the firmware and as you can see on the radio the radio now is flashing and then when you go to turn it on you have the welcome exuma v0.22 and you've updated and flashed your radio to the latest exuma firmware thanks for watching